In 1910, when the Wright brothers first taught men to fly, they chose to do it in Alabama. Since then, a lot has changed in the world of aviation, and for us, it was only the beginning of our century-long legacy in mankind's quest to defy gravity. Today, over 400 aerospace and defense companies from more than 30 countries call Alabama home, including world-leading manufacturers like Airbus, Boeing, GE Aviation, and GKN. And after more than 100 years of rockets, rovers, innovation, and international acclaim, we can confidently say the best is yet to come. I personally believe that the aerospace industry in Alabama is still in its infantile stage, and I think it will grow and grow and grow to make Alabama one of the leading aerospace states of the world. If you're thinking of bringing your company to America, think Alabama. Alabama has a tremendous workforce, tremendous infrastructure, no onerous environmental regulations, a highly motivated workforce, and a right to work state. You know, I often get asked why Airbus selected Alabama, and in particular Mobile, Alabama, for our final assembly line. The third pillar of our strategy, global strategy, was to have an industrial presence in the United States. We were looking for a site with an airport, plenty of acreage on which to build a project, and access to an ocean port. We were looking for a state in which we could call home. We wanted a state that could provide quality training, that was business friendly and spoke with one voice. And let me tell you something, Alabama, from the governor, from the Department of Commerce, to the economic development people, to the city council, all spoke with one voice. They said, you come to the Gulf Coast and we'll make it happen. When you look at the transition and the speed of transition of a business like ours, a high technology company in aerospace, that ease of transition into a community is significant. So working with a dedicated project manager here out of the city of Auburn, as well as the state of Alabama, having that focus on bringing a company into the community, into the technology park, having that infrastructure in place was great. It doesn't end with the grand opening. There's a partnership that you know, collaborates long term past that, and we've been able to build and, and keep that established relationship with both the city and the state. The welcoming of new business in this state is just absolutely tremendous from a regulatory or uh, a business standpoint. One of the things that we're most pleased about is, is our ability to call upon the Chamber of Commerce because they were able to navigate through and direct us to the people that could help us immediately. There were no delays or departures uh, that would inhibit or, or cause us any delays in conducting business in Alabama. Alabama is very committed to training the, the workforce, primarily through AIDT, the Alabama Industrial Development Training. And with that institute, they've done tremendous leaps and bounds, both in Airbus, within GKN, and all future companies coming to Alabama. Currently, AIDT is helping us conduct training on site. There are, are trailers that, that belong to AIDT that are helping us develop our sheet metal workforce currently, and that's a very big part of our business. It comes down to um, skilled workforce and technical skills, being able to have that, and not just up front, but knowing that those workforce skills will be there for the long run as we continue to ramp up and grow. Uh, secondly, university partnerships, being able to have engineering schools close by, and being able to have those are just critical for a business to be able to come in and start up within a technical industry like ours. Everybody knows, whether it be the aerospace industry with Airbus coming to them, or the car industry with Hyundai, Honda, Mercedes, they've had nothing but success and that's you know, down to the people of Alabama. They really do want to work, whether you're in the north or the south or the middle. A world-class workforce, a steadfast commitment to the aerospace industry, and a business climate best described as simply Southern hospitality. Alabama is the land of opportunity for companies whose roots are in the sky. And once you've found your place with us, the only thing left to do is prepare for things to really take off.